the dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the immediate past national vice chairman, Northwest of the All Progressive Congress, Saleo Lokman, slams the Kaduna State Governor, Ubarsani, saying that his days are numbered. But guys, before we comments fully, welcome back to this wonderful channel, Reality Letters G's, as we bring you back to back updates and information as the hot. So if today is your first time to join this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us on today's news. To all our viewers out there, thank you so much for joining us on today's news. So guys, let's proceed. The immediate past national vice chairman, Northwest of the All Progressive Congress, Saleh Lokman told Governor Ubarsani of Kaduna State that his days in office are numbered as he would be voted out alongside with President Balamit in the next three years. Lokman berated the governor of Kaduna State for waging war against his predecessor, Malam Nasri Irufai, saying that the governor was fighting a proxy war for the presidency. The former director general of the Progressive Governors Forum one governor of Cardinal State, Barsadi, that the campaign to defeat APC and President Asiwaju Tinubu has just started and it will take root in the Cardinal State. In a letter titled Issues of Politics and Governance in Cardinal State, the truth that was dated 13 June 2024 and it was copied to Malam Nasri Yerufai and Ramali Ariero, Right Honorable Abba Stajudi, Malam B. A. Lawa. Honorable Gaba Dati, and to so many other persons. Lokoma said that Governor Ubarsani was setting a precedence that will eventually hurt him. And he is honestly worried for Sani Uba because he's setting a precedence that will hurt him. And all he can say to Sani Uba is that he should be careful because maximum in the next seven years, he will be out. And he must recognize that without Malam Nasri Rufai, it will almost have been impossible for him to rise to where he is today. So the privilege of being a governor has an expiring date. For in the case of Sani Uba, if he's lucky, he will stay for another seven years. But from the way things are unfolding, <laughs> Lokman said he believed that the default expiring date for his tenure is another three years. Both him and President Bola Metunubu because he has sent out the worrisome signal of being anything but Democrat. Unfortunately, both President Bola Metunubu and Sani Uba have joined themselves together and they are behaving as autocrats and if left unchecked, whatever has been achieved under democracy in the last 25 years will be destroyed. That when they invited some of them to a meeting about two months ago, that he hoped that they had created the handle to help correct that. But sadly, it was reduced to a photo opportunity. And the next thing Lockman said he had was that there were people among members of the group who were threatened by the presence of some people and have exploited their closeness to San Uba to demobilize the group. But consequently, <laughs> from a situation whereby the group was to reconvene after two weeks, more than months now, that no meeting is being contemplated. So this is consistent with the tradition in APC, that APC is about the only political party in the world that exists without holding meeting, and leaders are comfortable with that. <laughs> that this certainly is not the democracy they fought for, although they claim to be among those who fought for democracy. Or Lokman said he's not sure because from the way they are managing things, they can justify their contribution to the struggle for democracy in Nigeria. Lokman said that Malam Oba Sandy, like he has always said before, <laughs> that he should take his advice because he is talking to him as a senior brother. That the way he has been treated in the last year has pushed him to reveal whether he wants to continue to live with the frustration of watching their hard end labor go down in drain. That he has lived all his life campaigning for a better society. So it is his resolve that his current reality doesn't project the kind of society they want. And he has therefore made up his mind to return to the trenches and resume mobilization for change. Unless APC and some of their leaders embrace change and return to some level of sanity. Because this will require that they mobilize and get them out of power in 2007 at all levels. So Lukman said he wished he could sunny Uber. But given that at the end of the day, politics is local, even if he attempts to reform himself, 
But President Bola Meritolobu did not embrace reform, so he will be collateral damage. That Ubarsani should take it from him. That the campaign to defeat APC and President Bola Meritolobu is just starting and it will take root in Kaduna State. So while Sani Ubar was declaring that no former governor of Kaduna State has executed development initiative in the state, Dr. said that is the same way Erifai did, that the issue of probe should have been handled differently. So coming back to the issue of proxy fight, the probe by the House of Assembly is being orchestrated by Honorable Ibrahim Zaliani, the former Speaker of the House of Assembly. That the truth is that before Sanoba was emerged as the candidate of the party, the animosity between Sanoba and Honorable Zaliani was deeper and is to the credit of Malam Nasu Erufai. And Erufai in his own way moderated Sanoba and prevented him from getting Honorable Zaliani impeached as speaker. Now suddenly, Sanuba have become the best allies against Malam Nasri Rufai. So Lukman is saying for the record purpose that he is not opposed to probe, but he is opposed to white card on plan probes with that clear objective of what they want to achieve. So he believed that Malam has his strength and weakness, and one of his weaknesses is being loyal to his associates. Certainly, Malam Lara Abbas and Sanuba are in the front row among his associates. So it is sad to see how within a short period after the exit of Malam Nasri Rufai, things have degenerated <laughs> among all of them. So no doubt that Malam Nasri Rufai would have to take responsibility for several things. But the fact is that it reflects the poor leadership of Sanoba of the state in the last year. Partly, Lokman said because of poor leadership, the narrative is that it is the presidency that is also pushing Sanyoba. So it is no secret that the presidency is opposed to Malam Nasu Erufai, which is responsible for all the avoidable drama around Malam's ministerial nomination. This is most unfortunate. So Lukman said, Erufai's greatest weakness is his inability to prioritize building strong relationships with the people in the state. <laughs> now Sanuba is dancing to the tune of President Bola Metunobo. So Lokman is telling him that if care is not taken maximum in the next seven years, <laughs> Sanuba will be out of there <laughs> because he has to recognize that without Malam Nasri Erufai, it would have almost have been impossible for him to rise to where he is today. Because the privilege of being a governor has an expiring date. You should have that in mind. <laughs> My people don't be small castle. So I guess I go like me what I think about this matter in the comment section. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. Really do appreciate. But if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come your way next, stay safe guys.